Hello UAE students, how are you all doing? Mr Edwards here, hoping you're all really well after that fantastic Easter break you had a couple of weeks back and you've been right back stuck into your schoolwork as I know you all have. So, what am I doing here today? Well, this video marks the first video in a long line of, of different episodes, I guess, where we are doing a sonnet a day. Starting off with myself and following on to numerous different teachers and other staff around UAE South Bank. So first things first, what is a sonnet? Well, a sonnet is a poem made up of 14 different lines. Sonnets have been made famous by William Shakespeare, who back in the 1500s wrote 154 different sonnets. Now, I assume we're not going to go through all 154 days worth of sonnet uploads. Fingers crossed the lockdown will be uh, finishing soon and we'll be seeing all your wonderful faces as soon as possible. But we're going to go through some of our favourites anyway. So sonnets for Shakespeare were generally written either for a beautiful young maiden who he had a little fancying for or generally about death about time and how time changes over a lot of people. They were generally split in half. I think the first 126 uh, were about his, his fancying of, of the woman and, and then split onto, onto time and age and how that affected him and how he sees the world. The one I picked first to start us off with is all about separation, about how he sees the beautiful flowers that are coming out in spring and the wonderful weather that he has but he just can't really enjoy it because he feels separated from his love and I feel like that really resonates with me and, and I think with you guys as well even though it's wonderful weather even though we're getting into this fantastic springtime that you know is, is one of my favorite times of the year you can't really enjoy it because we're here we're stuck we're you know we're in our flats we're in our houses we, we can't see um, our family members, really, if they're scattered across the country or across the world. We can't visit our best friends that you have at your school. You know, as teachers, we can't see us, our students, who we want to see. We can't see other, other friends that we have. We can't go to the pubs. We can't go watch football games. It feels a bit empty, almost. And that's what Shakespeare's talking about here. So without further ado, let me crack on with sonnet number 98. From you have I been absent in the spring. When proud pied April, dressed in all its trim, hath put a spirit of youth in everything. That heavy Saturn laughed and leaped with him. Yet nor the lays of birds, nor the sweet smell of different flowers in odour and in hue, could make me any summer's story tell, or from their proud lap pluck them where they grew. Nor did I wonder at the lily whites, nor praise the deep vermilion in the rose. They were but sweet, but figures of delight drawn after you. You, pattern of, of all those. Yet seemed it winter still, and you away. As with your shadow, I with these did play. Well, that's it. That's our first sonnet. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you'll join us tomorrow for our next upload. In the meantime, stay safe, stay home, protect the NHS and keep on doing your schoolwork. Mm -hmm.